Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 Conquest of Paradise with myself, Arumba, and Northern Lion. As always, say hello. 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 All right, let's play. I'm ready. All right. I mean, that's the name of the game, isn't it? I, I mean, I guess so. How oh, that's true. The name of the series. <laughs> oh, funny. Let's play. <coughs> How are your economies doing? That's in this. Whenever there's peacetime, that's all I'm concerned about. I'm making money, and I'm still, and I'm colonizing, and have a max uh, colony funding and army funding. For some reason, I am I'm making almost two ducats monthly with full colonial and army maintenance. So. I am sitting pretty from my own perspective for right now. Mm. Yeah, I'm, yeah doing, I'm good too right now. I'm doing pretty good. I've got the two colonies. My overall income before expenses is 7.1, 7.2. Mm. Wow. And uh, I'm spending almost all of it, but doing pretty good. Still, yeah, it's really good. Uh, my last general died, and the person I got in place is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I I basically don't know how to differentiate between like the pips I just choose whatever has the most right that's pretty, probably, yeah. pretty much a good strategy okay I'm glad to hear that yeah I, Mathis by the way thank you for that tip to just keep your stability up as much as possible yeah that no is like really helping out my economy yeah that's what's been keeping me up for the whole time this is, a, this is an idea I wish that I'd gotten started earlier alright Pennyville is now mine Pantyville? Penny Ryle, sorry. I thought it said Penny. <laughs> Penny Ryle, sir. Oh, I can't even see that. Um, it is mine. Yay, but they're already... I guess once you colonize something, they become cored automatically. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, awesome. that's new in this expansion, which is really cool. I like that. I can I can get down with the sickness. Mm, yeah, I believe that's what they said in the patch notes. Is mm. Now you can get down with the sickness. <laughs> Colonial provinces auto-core. <laughs> Uh, I'm making almost this? three ducats now. Dude, uh, Palaton migrated again. I don't gonna, get it. They're, they're going to do it all the time. Doesn't make, I guess if you're you're about to be wiped from the map anyway, you might as well have some fun with it. When's Mendan? When's the Cherokee going to fucking migrate again? Uh, well, I hope they don't, because if I could just get a core close, uh, then I could actually take it myself. The Cherokee? You don't want to. They're part of Arumba. No, no. I, w I don't want to take the Cherokee. I want to take the, the, the province of Cahokia. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because its base tax is, like, super good. I'm trying to think of where I want to colonize next. I mean, most I lands near me are not amazing by any stretch, but... Can you continue colonizing east? No, I can't see anything over here. Uh, okay. I can colonize around Lake Ontario, essentially. Mm. Over time, your every month your provinces have a chance of detecting, like, the Terra Incognita provinces next to you. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it won't take too long. You'll be able to find. That's what keeps happening to me. It would be really nice if, like, when the New World Explorer, or the Old World Explorers came, you could just, like, capture a conquistador or something like that and then force them to explore for you. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Are you listening, Paradox? <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, exceptionally ahistorical, probably. Whatever, though. I see your siege uh, in Ottawa is going all right. Yeah, it's a stomp. Are you going to take Fox, like, right after? Well, they're actually both in the war, so I'm probably going to go yeah, beat oh, up on yeah. Fox a bit, take their money, piece them out separately. That's a good idea. Ah, that's like the, it's a really great idea now that I think about it, because like, you could just generate, you could probably get like 50 ducats each. Yeah. For attacking the other natives. Well, you can check the ledger. Ah, that's true. Uh, let's see. Fox has 150 gold. Wow. Okay. And I'm going to take all of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's like, like a hundred months almost of my income, like eight years. Uh, oh well, <laughs> still having a good time over here. But it would be nice. Can we just get like a reconnaissance drone that we could fly over our continent and then we could see where we can go? The answer to that question is is no. Yeah, I figured. Mathis, well, Arumba's gone. We could full annex this whole <laughs> nation right now. That's what I'm right thinking now. right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how it works. <laughs> Gain three inflation. I don't want to. Yeah, you're devious is what you are. <laughs> I'm just saying we could you completely could. take. You could. Well, I would wait until you pieced uh, Ottawa first, and then we just, like, abandon you off of this continent, and you could make your life over there. Hey, I found Kentucky. 
Nice. Is it uh, on the east of Shawnee? Yep. It's the east okay. of Penny Ryle. Oh, okay. So, so two east of Shawnee. Right, it's like two away from what I can see. That's it's, a okay, high, it's another high base tax, too. Four mm. out of four. Yeah, it must be like really nice. Just wait. You. Just wait till you find the ones that are six and seven. Yeah. For goods production, does that like just feed into trade? I don't know. Uh, yeah, goods. Well, goods gives you production income, and it also goes into the trade node. Okay. Maybe it's worth it then. I don't really have much else to do with my money. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's another way to make money, so if you have nothing else to spend it, it on. Right, the, the earlier you build it, the better. I'm thinking of just spending the 75 Diplo power and changing the culture of Yankton because we've yet to accept them and gain more money that way. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to save my Diplo power and, and wait for boats. How? What's your Diplo power at right now? Um, Almost 1,200. Oh, you're, you're doing pretty well. You could make it pretty soon. Yeah, I might just burn though. I think I'm just gonna burn it. <laughs> it's only seventy-five. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting fine. seven a month, so it puts you more on my level anyway with respect to diplo points. There so I appreciate it. I need to. I need to handicap you. I guess I don't. What? Wow, that's no need to get nasty about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I, it has to be a bug. I wonder why I'm not getting my resources. Like, what are my resources? Who fuck knows? Oh. You seriously can't see them? Mm -mm. That's only all, my, my main... I can only see them for two. Um, yeah. Yankton has wheat, and Iowa yeah. has fish. Everything else yeah. is a question mark for all my other provinces. That's pretty wild. Maybe there's like... Uh, it's oil. It'd be hilarious. You just yeah. don't have the technology yet. And we'll never have the technology. Hey, I don't know about that. Unfortunate. Once the Portuguese come and we capture non-fatally all of their conquistadors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The scary thing is the, the, they're not coming for like 120 years. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long, long time. <laughs> uh, I, I can't get... Oh, I can get here. Okay, um, Arumba, you got like a Powhatan uprising. Like a, a rebel uprising. I'm going to go crush it for you down here. Are you talking about Kansas? Oh, yeah. Kansas isn't, isn't his, is it? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's just one vassals. of my vassals. Yeah, I didn't even uh, realize they were getting invaded. What do they want? Uh, Peasants. Yeah, well, you can check this. They won't become... give me military access. I could declare war on them, kill the rebels, and then peace out. All right, so apparently I spent like 12 military power to attack the natives. What does that even do for me? Oh, it makes it them brings like their less numbers down. Makes yeah, them, yeah you, you get less income from the province now. Oh. Once it becomes a colony. Oh, oh really? Mm -hmm. Well, well, the point that was pointless. I did not know that actually. I thought it just like brought down their uh, aggressiveness. Mm. Oh, God. oh man, did you just lose that battle? I did. I was suffering like ridiculous attrition over there. Oh no, that makes and, sense. Uh, That's like the Arctic Circle. Damn. Well, I'm not gonna get the money from the uh, the fox then. But we'll take this stuff. Mm hmm. It's cool that you you have like a whole other continent that you can colonize up there. Yeah. It's Not even cool. colonize, just take over basically. Yeah, you don't even have to just win, win fights. Still losing those 12 or 10 regiments or whatever it was is pretty stupid. <laughs> That's not Yeah. Good. Do you oh, have well. to be a diplo power too before you can even Oh, okay. I realize that this is going to sound stupid, but there's no boat mercenaries is what I was getting at and then I realized <laughs> why, but Will, do you have boat mercenaries like unlocked to you now, Arumba, at Diplo mm -hmm. 2? No, you don't. Okay. There's no boat mercenaries. Oh, at all? No. no. Nope. Okay. You got to build your own boats. So, but I, I mean, these boats are very inexpensive once you get them. I'm only paying 0.14 gold a month for seven transports. Yeah, that's really good. I can, mm. how, how do I place a merchant? Is there a... You need to have discovered the trade node, I think. Oh, okay. And then I can place merchants. I believe... But a room of silence worries me a little bit. Say, sorry, say again. I wasn't. What? How do I place oh, merchants? Do I have to find a trade node? Yes, you have to have discovered the trade node before you can send them. Okay. Like the easiest way to see it is uh, F14. You can see the trade list, mm. and you can either send or recall. Oh merchants. yeah, send. I can send one to Chesapeake Bay. You can. Yeah. 
Oh, maybe I can now that you've discovered it. Trade node is discovered, must be in range, and must have an available merchant. Trade node is not discovered. Oop, I just sent him some. Wah, wah. Hmm. Off he goes. That must be nice for you guys with your trade. Fancy trade. <laughs> I'm going to get into the Caribbean. So I can send him to here. either Am Armquanat Antigoshki or yeah, Nailanoi Gespotig. I don't really know what the difference is. Wow. I don't understand why I would pick one over the other. It's not telling it's me any offensive. bonus. Yes, player. Yes, offensive. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why I would choose one of these places over the other in the Chesapeake Bay. Is there a reason I would pick one over the other? Um, hey, like, which one is bringing you more income I can, right Yeah, now? well, it says, okay, so I click on Chesapeake Bay, and then it gives me two options to collect trade from, but I hover over it, and it doesn't give me any... It's because like, you, you have two merchants. I only have one merchant. No, I have, have two places to send the merchant. Right, but it's asking you which merchant would you want to send. No, it's saying collect trade from, and it's giving me... Are these people? Send yes. merchant to collect trade. <laughs> Why do I have two? I thought I only had one. You have two. You have two merchants. Look at oh. the top. There's a two mer the, zero out of two, zero out of one, the zero green out of two. Added for green oh. man. Oh, what the hell? All right, well, you then. I choose you. Go be free. Mm. What happens if you gain a, a military engineer? It's just I, a, a level three advisor that you can hire. Which oh, you can't, you oh can't, fantastic. You can't afford? <laughs> Probably not, no. I am making four ducats a month, though. Me good too. Times. Hey, that's pretty good. I that's would. I am pretty good. I don't know how much I'm making quite yet. Mm. Okay. Just trying to settle as much land as I can right now. Yeah. Whenever I get the chance, like I want, I want to take some of these lands around, uh, like where Ozark is, but. I would rather push into some Terra Incognita, mm -hmm. which is why, like, I'm I'm trying to expand the frontier a little bit here. Yeah. I seriously, like, I'm looking at the Maya. The Maya are just kind of like exploding over here. Oh yeah, I, they are, huh? I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm seriously thinking that if the Maya are able to expand like this, we might have the Inca or the Aztec on our continent. Inca or Aztec? Yeah, it's possible. They're probably to the uh, south, south of us. I would love that. That would be great. It would give us like a, an intermediate enemy to fight, large power to fight while we're waiting for uh, Europe to find us. I like how I have no boats, but I can send my I can send my uh, diplomatic guy over to the Mayans and be like, I want to be friends with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like shoot him out of a big slingshot it's or something. Technology. I like how the Mayans they only have one ally, and it's Osaj. And you know, Osaj is like, thank God we got this big powerful ally, and Mayas are like. We're going to crush you, but, like, we need <laughs> you to kill Chickasaw first. <laughs> and, like, they're, they're a big religious power, too, because they're uh, animist. Mm. And we're totemist. I don't even know the difference. Well, you know, they, in reality, me neither. But they don't follow the one true faith, so... Right. Yeah, they believe in totems, and we believe in animals. Or the other way exact. around. <laughs> Quite There's frankly, I think they've got the nations. right idea. <laughs> if I could only believe in one of the two, it would probably be animals. Mm. I don't know hard. if we're accidentally being offensive. Maybe we have some like totemist or animist <laughs> viewers. If so, I should reiterate that this is all from a, a place of ignorance. Correct. Oh yeah. Definitely. We're not intentionally being offensive. Well, we're just, you know, maybe Mathis is. I can't speak to that guy. Cover, cover your bases. Exactly. Hey, I discovered some more Terra Incognita. Excellent. There's actually, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a province here, Bungi. Right next to uh, Absaluka. And there's like a body of water next to it. And I can't tell if that's like the edge of the continent. It could foreseeably be. This is really exciting. This is like a weirdly nerdy like cartographer boner I have going on here. <laughs> that could be the edge of the map. This that's must crazy. have been exactly what it was like for the conquistadors. <laughs> that I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. <laughs> must be. It could just be like a really tiny lake as well. Mm. But it could be the end of the known world. I'm gonna go with One that. One of the two. I'm gonna oh. have, I'm gonna have my, my first integration. The Cherokee are gonna be integrated in September of next year. Very nice. Remember when they gave us like a really hard time in the first series of videos? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> it was very strange, right? It seems like so long ago. 
Mm-hmm. The only time they ever <laughs> we were like, oh no, we're going to lose. <laughs> Same as the, uh, the Iroquois. They used to be uh, a rival. No longer, though. So I have to get to 90% uh, of my manpower maximum to get this mission done. I, does does I that mean I should like not build the ma- local manpower modifier buildings? Yeah, I would because it's percentile rate based, right? Yeah, it's not going to really help you out. It would just take longer to get to the point, right? Same amount of time. Ah, okay. Yankton, welcome to our culture. Cause, cause manpower, culture. Your manpower grows at a rate of like, uh, what is it? One percent per month or something. It's like okay. Yeah, I still have like ninety months. Well, mm, sixty months. Good mission. Get plus ten army tradition when we finish this. Nice. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> I really wish, Arumba, I should just become like your autonomous vassal. <laughs> and then, then you could put me on your boats, right? Wait a uh, second. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What just happened? What? I am not. Uh, I'm no longer integrating. One of my people. What? What? For some what reason, I'm I'm not annexing Powhatan anymore. They free. They freed themselves. Did you? You weren't. Know? You were annexing Powhatan. You were annexing Cherokee. I was annexing both of them, but I must have somehow misclicked. Damn, that really sucks. Sorry. Well, you no, they moved, have... Oh, and they moved back to Cahokia. <laughs> you only have two diplomats, right? Like you must have used one to uh, negotiate a peace with Ottawa. Yeah, but that was as soon as we were done with that. I started annexing. I must oh, okay. have just I just misclicked somehow. It's really annoying. Ah, uh, it'll be okay. Ryan, oh, they're probably. back in Cahokia. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, I can't even like. Uh, just I can't. Them. I can't core a province that's close enough to get them anyway. So you, um, you know what you could do is after I finish annexing them, you can actually release Ozark as the Cherokee mm. vassal again. They can be your vassal now. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes you, sense. You can't create them right now because they're already formed. But after I annex them, they won't exist. It takes so long, though. Not really. It's like what two videos? Now I have. A core down here, and I can colonize down here and mess you up. Yeah, but it takes so long, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I discovered another province here. I think Arikara. Maybe we already knew that one. Eh, it's hard to tell. How many provinces do you guys have right now? One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven. All right, I have nine. And a Roomba, I can't two, even three. see. Well, let me pause because there's just so much going on. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven plus eight that I just finished the annexation of. Down Jesus. There. Hey, I'm level two, Chief. Our diplomatic technology has increased. The Bark, too. The Bark has a long history of blah, blah. Bonus effect. Trade range is up 100. Enables Bark, Cog, and Galley. Now's the time. You guys team up and start taking down the Maya together. I don't. I don't know. No, I'm back. I'm back into my fucking noob zone. What the fuck do I do with ships? I know they work differently. Uh, it's pretty similar. One ship holds uh, one regiment, but it's different kinds of ships. Oh yeah. yeah. So you, cogs are transports, and then everything else is like for naval warfare, basically. Cogs are transports. Everything else is naval warfare. If I remember from the tutorials, can I like patrol trade routes and shit? Yes. Yep. Barks. Light ships do that. Okay. Got to protect your glorious trade interests right now. Actually, I guess you do have a merchant, so... Or a posted merchant. Hmm. Must be nice. Not like it, it matters. I don't have any trade routes on the ocean, so there's no point. Well, you have one person... Your merchant's in Chesapeake Bay, right? Yeah, but that's not in the ocean. Yeah, it is. Chesapeake Bay is in an area you can't see right now, which is weird. Oh, okay. I thought it was just this, like, buoy here. Or the, is that the Gulf of St. Lawrence trade node? Yeah, the Chesapeake yeah. Bay is in the middle of oh. the land, actually. For some Okay. Which, the Chesapeake Bay I'm trade now, right, route, rather, is right in the middle of the... Yeah, I thing. think I can see it. I think it's right to the right of Oglala. It is right to the right of Oglala. So mm-hmm. if you go in there, you can explore it. And, uh, I'm actually going to... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to be colonizing it. Yeah, well, I'm going to send my merchant and direct all your trade away. <laughs> I have a merchant there already. <laughs> well, so... 
<laughs> Scary. Aruma's got a huge advantage in actually I know. knowing he, how he, trade he works. He does. <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to wrap up this particular episode. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you're enjoying it, be sure to drop a like and a comment below. It lets us keep doing the series for as long as we possibly can. And as always, in the description box will be a link to both Northern Lion and Aruma and vice versa in their channels. And we will see you all next time. Later. See you soon.